Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to go from this to this using a flat iron to get this texture and style. So if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching. So the flat iron I'll be using is one by Babyliss. It has these plates on the sides which also heat up. That helps a lot with the curling process. This iron has three different heat settings. I'll be setting mine all the way up to 450. So before we get started, make sure you just put any heat protectant and comb that through and distribute it evenly. So we're going to begin parting the hair from ear to ear and then just sectioning off the top. So I like to take vertical sections in the bottom. So the placement of the iron is also really important. Notice how the hot plates are facing towards my scalp. This allows me to just pass the iron a few times on my roots and then curve it outwards towards my face. And this creates the curl on its own. When I release the hair from the iron, I like to twirl it just to make sure I am shaping that curl in the direction which I want it to fall. So once again, with the hot plates facing towards the scalp, I'm going to run the iron through the roots two to three times. And then on that last time, just continue it straight out while curving it towards my face. If you notice, I over direct the hair towards my face when I am curling. I like doing this because it helps give it more of a messy cascaded fall to the curl. So just keep repeating these same steps for every subsection. Once we're halfway through the hair, I like to give it a quick spritz of hairspray. So for the top sections, this is where you're going to really make sure you're doing that over direction. As you see, I'm ironing in the total opposite direction of where I want the hair to fall. But once I shape it with my fingers, it just flows into that nice cascading curl, which I was talking about. This is what gives that nice textured effect to this hairstyle, which it looks done, but at the same time, it looks undone. I really hope this whole over direction thing I'm talking about is making sense to you guys. Just pay close attention to the placement of the iron and the direction of the curls and then how I shape it with my fingers. So once we finish curling, give it one last spray all over and then we're going to be flipping it upside down. While my head is upside down, I like to spray it once again with hairspray and just shake everything up and let it fall naturally. And that's how you get the va va voom volume. Now we're going to keep spraying and just shaping the hairstyle to how you want it to fall. What I really love about this Tresemme 5 hairspray is that you can continue spraying and styling and combing and spray some more and it really won't get tacky or flaky or anything like that. It just gives very nice texture. So one thing I like to do just for my volume to last longer is take this teasing comb and just at the root of the hair around the crown area, I'm just going to give it a little quick tease. This is just to prevent the hair from falling later on and maintaining that big volume. If you prefer less volume, then you can definitely skip this step. The great thing about this hairstyle is that it will work with all hair length. I just give it one last spritz of hairspray. Play around with it and just style it the way you like. For me, the messier the better. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.